we're back here at our timeline video and I'm going to be placing in another video clip in here another video layer and we'll then work with that additional video layer. Let's just go over here click on this layer and then I'll add a new video layer above that one layer and video layers right here new video layer from file now I have another video in here called fish another AVI file just choose that and that places that video layer right in on top of this one now I can pull this one down just kind of get a position where I want it there we go we can play that it's sitting above the other video so we can actually see that what the video does there it is just some fish swimming around that's all that is nothing spectacular about that let's now come in and work with this a little bit. Now I want to have this video come in at the end of the other video and I also want to do a couple of things down here. I'm going to be doing a fade out or a cross fade in here between the two videos. So one video is going to fade into the other video using the same fade setting. So the first thing I need to do is to grab this top video layer and I'm going to drag it down just like that. Actually just drag it down and position it right about where that one begins to fade out, I'll begin to fade in right at this point. I'm also going to need to have more time. Notice we have 10 seconds over here on our video plan, our time ruler. We need to expand the length of our video. So I'll click on this little button and it's just off screen. So I'm going to pull this up here. No, oh, they didn't want to do that. Just pull this up like this and let's take a look at that. Still off screen, pull up a little higher. There we go. Document settings right down there. Just click on that. And I'm going to set this to 30 second duration. I may need to trim that back a little bit once we're finished, but I'll give myself 30 seconds. Choose OK. That just makes the whole video longer. Actually, there's the 30 second point. I can make this a little longer still. I haven't gotten to the end of my video yet. Let's try 45 seconds. There we go. There's the end of the video. It's just past the 30 second. It looks like about 31 seconds. So let's just cut back. I'll set the video then back to 30. I guess my initial guess was okay. So there's just one more additional frame on there. So that's fine. I'll set it at 30 seconds. We'll just end right there. And then I have an overlap in here. Now the first video fades out at this point second video shows up at this point I need to fade this video up so we'll do the same same tricks let's just open up this video layer and I'll come into this point right there let's make sure that we are on the correct layer here layer 4 I'll set this at 0 and I'll put in a keyframe right there at zero. So this layer four now has no opacity at this position. I'm just pulling this down just a little bit so that I can see the other settings. Let's now pull this across over to this position, which is where this, this previous video fades out completely. And at this position on layer 4, I'm going to set this opacity up to 100%. Right there. So as the one video fades out, the other video fades up. We'll have a little crossfade happening in there. If anything can be seen between these videos, it's going to be the water frame that we had sitting down here. So it's going to, it'll be just fine. It'll have something in the background in there. So we're doing just a little crossfade between these two rows of videos. So it took a few things to do this. We had to go over here click on document settings and increase the length of our video we had to drag the video itself from layer 4 down so it begins about where we want to have it and then we had to put in a couple of opacity changes okay let's now take a look at this whole thing I'm gonna just lift this up a little bit like that give us some room so you can see the whole video there it is let's go back to the beginning and we'll play through the video. The first thing we'll see is the fade up of our first video right there. It's fading in. As we get to this point right here, 
the first video will begin to fade out and the second video will begin to fade in and we'll get a cross fade effect so our video needs to change right in there and you can see the cross fade happening there it is you see a little bit of the water affecting behind there just covering that cross fade and we're now looking at the second video completely it's now at a hundred percent so we just did this little cross fade right there by putting in a secondary video layer and then adjusting that video layer. I could have made a cut, just a straight cut, just by not having these crossfades and then just line up the beginning or the end of, of one video, the end of this video, line that up with the beginning of the second video, just move that over so they line up and I would then have a cut between one video to the next. So you can do actual video editing if you want to in here with several different videos actually go between one and the other. Let's just come back here a little bit and play from that point. And we can watch that crossfade again here. So here's the first video. Begins to fade out right there. Second vid video begins to fade in right here. Right there you see a little bit of the background water effect just giving us a little, something in the background to cross on. And second video fully faded up. There we go. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.